My name is Richard Godwin uh, from Naperville, Illinois. I'm a serial entrepreneur, uh, obviously not from around here originally, I'm from the UK. I've uh, built, uh, over the last 35 years, I've built businesses in the United Kingdom, Canada and the United States. I've lived in the United States for 22 years and uh, I've built some pretty substantial businesses here, uh, including uh, one of my largest business, which was in Glendale Heights. I've run businesses, as I said, in London, Toronto, uh, Chicago, Glendale Heights over the years. And what I've, I'm having a problem with these days is the fact that as an entrepreneur, it's my duty to be a wealth creator and hence uh, a job creator. It's not my duty to be a job creator, but that's what happens from creating wealth. And I'm finding it increasingly difficult to deal with the bureaucracy having to provide health care for my employees. Not that I resent providing health care because it seems that that's the only option that they have. Um, I've fought on behalf of some of my employees who were denied health care and told the insurance company that if they didn't provide all my employees with health care, they'd lose my business. That was uh, somewhat of some leverage. But what I've found now is that the American dream is being compromised because it is easier for me to open a business and run a business in the United Kingdom or Canada than it is here because of the issues involved in providing health care, uh, not only for my employees but for myself. Um, if I was to start a new business now, I'd have to seriously consider the issue of health care for my family because it, it's, it's unethical to even think about not having health care, especially if you have children. But to be able to provide that, the costs involved these days, and I've got a young, healthy family, it's it's completely onerous uh, unless my wife was working for a large corporation and able to get health care for the family through through her job um, and so that compromises what I do um, the entrepreneurial side of things which is what America is all about uh, the American dream is about opportunity and entrepreneurism and building your own thing it's not about working for a big corporation if you work for a big corporation if that's the American dream well, guess what the European dream is a lot better the American dream is about building your own thing and it is being heavily compromised and I can say that from experience from running businesses in, as I say, UK, Canada and uh, the United States. I also think that the issues around uh, the scare tactics that are happening with um, the, the debate about healthcare and universal healthcare, uh, they don't take into account a lot of things that people should be talking about like the fact that American consumers are subsidizing pharmaceutical consumers in Europe and Canada because in those, in those countries the government intercedes on their behalf and negotiates the price of pharmaceuticals and, and because they're such a large buyer they can negotiate prices down to silly levels because the pharmaceutical companies always know that they can go to the Americans to get them to pay it. So American consumers will end up paying two, three, four times as much for the same pharmaceuticals made in the same factories that they are here. And uh, so I think that that is, um, is an issue that Americans should become um, familiar with, the fact that we are subsidizing those overseas consumers. Um, I do believe that universal health care is something that is, is time has come here. We cannot keep allowing costs to spiral like they have done my own uh, insurance for my family uh, back in 2001 went from 500 a month then to 800 a month then to 1100 a month 1600 a month 2200 a month all in the space of five years and we had to reconstruct our whole insurance policy with bigger deductibles co-pays the whole thing and it just infuriated me that my health care got to be more than my mortgage and it was it was going up by 50 percent a year what is that about I mean, th that is just completely outrageous and something that people cannot plan for anymore. You cannot plan healthcare anymore because the, the, the prices change too often. Um, insurance companies don't exist for my welfare. They exist to make a profit, which is fine. All companies are allowed to make a profit. But they are based on actuarials, same as Las Vegas. You know the house always wins. And so therefore I see that uh, people who are left not covered uh, uh, are left, left in the cold 
and people can say all they want about how Canadians want to drive down to the United States to uh, escape their scary socialist programs, I can say that that is an absolute farcical. My family's lived in Canada for 35 years and there's absolutely no way in the world that they would consider driving to the United States for healthcare. If anything, if they couldn't get something in Canada, they'd fly back to the UK. And, and uh, so this whole idea of people driving into the United States uh, for their healthcare, the only reason it happens is so they can jump the line, jump the queue. And if I was Joe Public here, in the United States paying my, my insurance premiums and some rich Canadian or Arab oil shake jumped in front of me because he can pay and he steals my kidney or my heart transplant. I'm not saying my kidney, but the one that I'm waiting for maybe. And I die as a result of that. What kind of system is that? That is not the kind of system that I want anything to do with. It's totally unethical. And I think that comes as a part of uh, uh, survival of the fittest, highest bidder wins all. And I don't think that's the way that it should be with healthcare. I don't see why my health should be a commodity to be traded like glycol or pork bellies. It's not ethical and it shouldn't be part of the United States um, system.